up guys sammy b garage back at it again all right so today i'm talking about the best mods that you can get for the kia stinger gt this is all in my opinion i mean you can disagree with me if you like you can agree with me i'm just trying to help people out when they're getting their stinger and what i think is the best things that you can do to it so first things first first mod that i did to my kia stinger was these aem intakes So I think it's the first model you should do to your Stinger because when you first get the car, it's honestly like extremely quiet. It's, you can't even hear anything, but you get these intakes and you hear the gnarliest turbo spool, even without an exhaust. The next mod that I believe is essential is the HKS spark plugs. So if you're ever planning on tuning this car, even with the JV4 or any type of ECU tune, you're going to need to get these spark plugs. I've heard you can re-gap the stock OEM plugs that come with the car to a smaller gap and it'll have a similar result, but I just believe the HKS spark plugs are the way to go. They're fairly pricey, they're like 150 bucks for the whole set, but it's worth it. So if you're looking for sound, I believe the next mod you should go for is the MBRP Pro exhaust. So this exhaust system. It's not extremely loud, it's not like obnoxious or anything like that, but it sounds really deep and aggressive, and honestly, it's as loud as I'd want it to be. Plus, it's not the priciest option. It's, I mean, it was like, I believe it was something like $800 or $900. Most of the exhaust systems for this car are over a thousand, and they sound honestly just like, it. the MBRP Pro sounds just as good. All right, so the next mod that I'd recommend for this car is a Lap 3 ECU tune. So most people in this regard go for a JB4. It's a piggyback device. It gets the job done, don't get me wrong. I got nothing against it, but I'm just not really a fan of piggyback tunes. It just, there, it's, it's like almost like intercepting the signal and changing your values from your air to fuel ratios. But I just think going through the ECU is the way to go. You can get more power that way, and it's just a smoother pull. You get more at the top end. My only complaint about the Lap 3 ECU tune is that there's not much customization with it. So you pretty much, they send you a whole new ECU, and you gotta install that. And if you wanna edit it or make uh, any changes to it, you'd have to send your ECU back. So that's probably the worst part about the Lap 3 ECU tune, but other than that, the tune itself is great. Haven't had any issues with it. I'm just an off the shelf map, lap, or stage one, 91 but I'm still pushing around 405, 410 wheel horsepower. And with a JV4, it's, you probably have to run like map two or map three to get that. And I just believe it's not as hard on the engine as well. All right, so the next mod I'd go for is the Eibach Pro lowering springs. So for one, I mean, it just makes your, your fitment a lot better and the stance is just overall more aggressive. But also, I've actually noticed an increase in handling, just because for one, your car's lower to the ground, and it just, it, it, it handles the turns a lot better. This thing kind of has a little bit of sway when you're, before you lower it, and it definitely reduces that. 